How much do you think is in my hands right here? 30K right here. Really? I know. Maybe I know. like 25. I think these are like, what, six grand? I think these are. I think these are like six grand. Yeah. And then the glitters, I'm pretty sure, aren't these like the most expensive? I think like 10K. Yeah, they're like 10K. And then I'm pretty sure these are another like seven. Yeah. Holy All right, yo, what's going on, guys? I, ooh, I almost just fell. All right, I'm gonna restart that. All right, yo, what's going on, guys? I'm Kyle Lowe's. I'm out here with the boy. Up. <laughs> Gavin, he's from, he was my neighbor in Atlanta, and now he's out here visiting me in Phoenix. We got Phoenix SneakerCon this weekend, and right now we're hitting up pound for pound shoes in Phoenix. And see if there's anything, probably we won't get anything, but I know there's a key master here, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. I think today may, might be the day I get that W. I don't know, Gavin, you feeling good? I'm feeling great. Bro, he's feeling great. I got it, I got it, I got it, the goodies, I got it. Yeah, no. Yeah, 370. Really? May 7th? No, they came out in men's sizes. Really? Yeah. These are like the. I don't even know what years these came out in 99 or something. Chrome Force. The leather is ridiculous. They have the uh, no more parties in LA sweatshirt that released exclusive temperature in Los Angeles for Kanye West, and I really want it, but it's, it's my size, but it's 175, I don't know if you guys see that, 175, so I probably won't, but then they have hella Supreme shirts, which is what Gavin came here for, right Gavin, all the Supreme shirts? Yep. <laughs> but yeah, they got a ton of Supreme stuff, nudes, Supreme, this is a Supreme, I mean, I don't know actually, Supreme, Nice color right? <laughs> Trash. Trash. Would actually would you actually wear this Supreme Colorway shirt? Or this one? Yeah. So we'll buy some of these. The OG there. That goes for like three grand right now. Solar's which go for like thirty five hundred right now. Cougars, which I don't even know what Cougars go for. Then those are the Legends of Summer Jordan ones. I think that's the glit the uh not the glitter, the uh three M pair and I know there's a pair that looks just like that, it's not three M. And then they have the glitter pair, which is right there. They have Miro 7s, and then the Don C's, aka the Blake Linders. <laughs> I know Blake Linder has them. And then uh, DDs, and then Lightnings, those are all crazy like that. Look at the OGs. I think they're dope. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm not a big fan of 750s. Yeah. What I like the most is the black one. Yeah, the true black is really like nice. And the denim bleeds on yeah, the other colorways and stuff. Yeah. I think that one is just it's universal. That suede and everything. OG all from Give me three seconds. Let's see. I'll try to see. Grab the legend and so on. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Here you go, all these. Yeah, so we got the mirrors right here. I don't even know, what are these going for? A brand new, like 2,500 probably? Yeah, probably. And then, you got the OG 750s. I personally, I know you guys, if you guys have seen my other videos, I talk about, I like the 750s a lot better. One thing I don't like about the OGs is how bad the denim bleeds. And then the quality's not that nice. I know the zipper breaks a lot on them. These are slightly worn. I know these go for like three grand brand new. And then, 
We got the Solars. The Solars are pretty nice. These are my least favorite Yeezy two, the, uh, the Yeezy 2s for sure. Platinum's are my favorite, but these, are, these aren't bad. You can see why a lot of people say these as a grail. Four and threes. What? Four and threes. Oh shit, the, those are the Pikus, aren't they? What? What's going on, man? What's up? Am I called Jenny Yeah. I'm laughing. Have you seen... They make them this small? I didn't even know that. For the pictures? Um, I don't know about too many existing GSS. Oh, yeah, for sure not. But, I mean, that one came from someone directly associated with Nike. That's fine. That's crazy. And then this is a Don C. Look C. Sample 1. Yeah. So, Bro, I appreciate that. How much do you think is in my hands right here? 30k right here. Really? I know. Maybe I know. like 25. I think these are like what six grand. I think these are. I think these are like six grand. Yeah. And then the glitters, I'm pretty sure, aren't these like the most expensive? I think like 10K. Yeah, they're like 10K. And then I'm pretty sure these are another like seven. Yeah. That's crazy. These things are crazy. And then obviously the three ampere. I think that, yeah, this is the three ampere. You can kind of tell by the. They're the missing tint. one though. Yeah, they're missing the, the, the non three ampere, but you yeah. can tell by the tint. It's three amp. I would get the three amp, but my mic's on top, so it can't, it it's not going to flash. So these, are, these are crazy. And then obviously the glitters. You can take a picture of walls in the video. Okay, so you got the box. So it's about 4K. Which way here? A grand. 8,000 for the glitters. 7,500 for the 3Ms. And another almost 4 grand. That comes out to probably close to somewhere around, what, 20K probably? $20,000 for the shoes right here. I don't know, yeah, oh yeah, because not counting, I don't even know what they want for the uh, the baby pit crews, but yeah, it's probably 25 grand right here at least, I'd say. We got it. And then they showed us some other stuff which you guys saw. They had the uh, the Solars, which are up there, the OG 750s, the Miros, the DB3s, some crazy stuff here. All right, so yeah, guys, so shout out to Pound for Pound Phoenix. Some of their workers are back there for pulling out all these shoes for us. They had to get some of them upstairs, so I really appreciate it. So I'm going to link, I'll probably link their Instagram and then I think their Twitter in the bio. So you guys can check them out. They have a bunch of really good stuff. But they got a lot of heat in here. And then I know they have another location in Dallas and another location in Los Angeles. I think their main location is Los Angeles, which is where like everything is. But yeah, so shout out to these guys that work over here. But let me look at the shoes and let me get on video for you guys. All right guys, so here's their card. Calm down. It has all three of their addresses on it. Focusing a little. There we go, gotta focus. So yeah, they're Phoenix, Los Angeles, and Dallas locations. There's where you can find them. You can contact them. You can find their social media pages. So yeah, shout out to Pound for Pound. All right, guys. So we just left Pound for Pound. Shout out to Pound for Pound. You, I'll also link their pages down below. But you guys saw their card. Those are the really, really uh, nice people there. At least at the Phoenix location. They had some. Cr <clears throat> excuse me. They had some really crazy heat in there. I was actually kind of surprised. Like, what did you think? Yeah, that was pretty crazy. I didn't really expect them to have everything they did have. Yeah, dude, I didn't, I didn't even know that there were baby, or like, GS sizes of the Pit Crew 3s. So rare, because, like, there's no, you can't really see my face. But that's why they're, they're super, super rare, because there's, like, no pairs out there. Those are super sick in person. That's the first time I've ever seen any of the Pit Crews, like, actually in person held them in hand. And it's funny that it was a kid's pair, just because, like, you don't see that every day. I didn't even know, like I said, I didn't know there was any kid's pair. Did you know there was a kid's pair? No, I had no clue. Yeah, he didn't know either. And then we got to hold the uh, the Legend of Summer ones, both the 3M and the glitter that you guys saw. That those things are crazy. I know there's uh, another three, uh, there's the 3M pair again, without like it's the same exact pair as the 3M pair, but it doesn't have any 3M. The leather is just like a black leather. There's a LOS Jordan 2 and an LOS Jordan 3. Those things are crazy too. And then we got to see the Solars, the OG 750s, the Miros, the DB3s. I think there were there was a Jordan brand classic, Jordan 28. And then the Dancy Jordan ones, which were unreal. The quality on it, it's like, the, it looks like kind of like laser edging in it. Those things are crazy. But yeah, so shout out to the guys that work in there. They were really cool. One of the guys says he's going to uh, check out my page. So if he sees this, thank you so much, dude, for pulling those shoes out for us. We, I really appreciate it. I know Gavin probably really appreciates it too. That was crazy. Um, next up, we're hitting up PacSun. 
And then, because I want to get some, I'm going to get some new clothes. I need some new clothes. Yeah, we can just go this way. And then after Paxson, I know we're heading at Portillo's. That's the spot. Portillo's is the spot for fast food. Right now, we're just walking around downtown Phoenix. I think we have some real grass out here. All right, guys, so we're at the mall right now. I don't even know what mall this is at. But we're looking for Paxson right now. I headed to Paxson. I need to get some new clothes. I need to get some shorts or something for sneaker con because I can't wear jeans all day at sneaker con. I'm gonna like die of heat. And I have no idea where we're going. This is a weird ass mall. Where are we? I don't know. Um Oh shit, it's right here. Alright. There's like a bunch of construction going on. But yeah, so I'm gonna hit up Paxson. I'm probably I don't think I can film in here, so I'm just gonna pick up some stuff and then I'll show you guys afterwards. Alright guys, so we just left Paxson. I got some Adidas shorts that I'm probably gonna wear this weekend with, with my shoes that just got delivered today and I'll wait for you guys to see them when I unbox them tonight because I haven't even seen them yet. They literally just got delivered today while we were out at the mall. And uh, Gavin, anything you wanna say? Uh, this is a pretty nice mall. <laughs> Alright, you guys should hear first. It's a pretty nice mall. <laughs> Alright, so um, we are going to get some Portillo's right now to eat. I just realized how bright it is. We're gonna eat at Portillo's right now. I'm so hungry. All right, yo, what's going on, guys? So we just got home at my house. We, I got a package. Shout out to my dude, Jordan. I, uh, I know what it is. You guys obviously don't know what it is. I know, I think, yeah, you know what it is. I know what it is. I got a steal. So it's uh, by the title of this video, because I think I'm gonna make this like a separate pickup video. Uh, or, well, actually, I'll make it, I know I'm gonna review this separately, but this is an Adidas Boost. And I got it for a really, really good price. Once again, shout out to my dude, Jordan. As you guys can tell, I'm so I <laughs> Yo, I don't know if you guys heard that. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> we're in the middle of filming a video right now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're filming my, all right, my parents' music, music just started, like, blasting. Sorry. <laughs> no. All right, sorry about that. My dad turned on the music, but okay. So back to the unboxing. You guys can see by the box, it is a human race, Adam D size nine. If it focuses, come on, come on. All right, hold on, sorry. Size nine, because I wear a true size 10 and most Adidas boosts, oh my God. Most Adidas boosts do look, or do fit me very big, or at least Adam D prime that I know you, which means these human races probably fit me very big. Sorry, my head's not like totally in the frame, I guess. Let me just scooch it a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit better. So it got like the goat card because he got it off of goat or his friend got it off of goat or something like that. Extra laces. And here you got it. The green Pharrell Human Race NMDs. These things so nice. are so nice. This is my first time ever holding any of the Pharrells in person. Like holding them in hand and seeing them in person. But these things are so sick. I cannot wear it. I am wearing these to SneakerCon. Uh, in two days on Saturday, March 18th. So this video will be going up tomorrow, so it'll technically be tomorrow. But yeah, these things are nice. Look at that, bare, like, not really that worn. I have crap protect, so I can just clean those bottoms up. These are nice. Obviously, here's the other shoe. That's a great deal, too. Yeah, dude, I got these for a steal. I'm not gonna say it. I don't know if I should say it on, uh, on here right now. But I got these for a super good price. Like, way under what they're going for. So you guys can just kind of see them. But I got a, a price for way under what they're actually going for. I got them worn a couple times. My dude really hooked me up. So shout out to my dude Jordan. Uh, I, I met him through uh, on MSX, which is a Facebook sneaker group. Shout out to MSX if you guys are on MSX. A lot of dope people in there. But yeah, thank you so much, Jordan. I really appreciate it. I'm definitely gonna be wearing the hell out of these. These aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Thank you so much. Shout out to you. Definitely gonna be looking out for that dude in the future. He gave me, like I said, he gave me a steal. So shout out to him. What do you think about these shoes? I mean, for the price, they really cannot be beat. Yeah. I don't think they're worth what they're going for, like the true market right now. I think DS, they're going for almost $600. Sorry, there's like bugs everywhere. But they're going for like $600, and I don't think these are really worth that. And these are probably, I would say my, they're not my favorite, I, they, I, I, I wouldn't even, I don't think I'd even say that they're my top three favorites, but I do like most of the uh, the human races. And this green pair is really nice. My favorite pair is the blue, because blue is my favorite color. The yellow one's nice. The black one's super clean, just blacked out. This one actually might be my fourth favorite of the human races. There's like, what, like eight of them? No, there's like seven of them, right? like seven, right? probably. Yeah, so these things are really dope. But yeah, as you guys can see them in the bottoms, they're super clean for being worn. I think they were worn like five times, maybe four or five times. But yeah, so I got a steal. So again, thank you, Jordan. 
All right, yo, what's up, guys? Just wanted to give you guys a quick re recap of what I picked up today. So, you know, I showed you guys it's already the human races. And that green colorway. These things are amazing. Like I said, I'm wearing these at SneakerCon tomorrow. Really excited to bust these things out. And then today from PacSun, I just picked up some black Adidas shorts. It's got the Adidas Originals logo right there. I am also wearing these at SneakerCon because it's going to be hot out here in Scottsdale. I know it's snowing in most places and it's like cold, but out here in Scottsdale, it's been like 90 degrees and sunny every single day the past week. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same throughout this weekend. So I'm really excited for that. So that, that was just a quick recap on what I'm wearing to, uh, or what I got today and what I'm going to be wearing at SneakerCon. I haven't decided fully on what I'm going to be wearing as a shirt. I think I'm just going to wear my St. Pablo. Here, I'll grab it really quick. I think I'm going to be wearing this. St. Pablo shirt. It doesn't really match. I mean, it's just black, but with the gold doesn't really match with what I'm with the green NMDs. But I don't really care. I'm probably just gonna wear that. Uh, I'll, I mean, I'm gonna keep looking. I might wear a Fear of God shirt. I got a couple of Fear of God shirts, so maybe I'll bust one of those out. All right, guys. So it is currently 10 p.m. I had a really, really dope day today. I hope you guys like the vlog. I am about to start editing it right now. Really quick, I just wanted to say a few things. Right, so first. All right, so first things first, I just wanna say shout out to, I just wanna give out a huge shout out to Pound for Pound Shoes out in Phoenix. Thank you guys so much again. I asked one of the guys that work is there if they could bring out some of their most heat shoes. Like they had a bunch of stuff up on, up like higher up, which I think you guys will see, saw in the vlog. There's just like a bunch of stuff up on the higher shelves. And I asked them if he could take them down or if they were like, he grabbed the extra pairs, like the pair that wasn't on the display and pull them out so I can look at them for my channel. And he was like, yeah, dude, like, you do YouTube, that's good. And like, he was just like, yeah, that's cool. So we pulled him out, got him all out. It was really, really cool. So thank you to that guy. Got some really, those are some really crazy shoes. Shoes I have seen in person, but I've never actually been able to hold in my hand, such as the Legends of Summer ones. I know there's a third pair that I talked about. And then I know there's a, a Jordan 2 Legends of Summer and a Jordan 3 Legends of Summer. Those ones are crazy too. They look just like the glitter pair of the Jordan 1s. And then, you know, there was the other stuff with the Miros, the different kinds of Yeezys, the two deep in the Yeezys. There was the Freddy Krueger Dunks. Those things are nuts in person. I've never seen those in, I've seen those before, but I've never seen them in person, especially getting to hold them in person. They're crazy. The quality is crazy. The, uh, the just the whole design is unreal. Um, what do we have next up? We had, and then we also had the Jordan Man Classic Jordan 28s. Those were pretty cool. I would never personally wear them just because of that high ankle, but they were still pretty sick. Um, it's the first ever sneaker con here in Phoenix. I'm really happy that I'm like really really excited and happy to be able to go to the first ever one in Sne at Phoenix. In Phoenix, there, I'm pretty sure like all the like the shoe tubers are gonna be there. I know Kais is gonna be there. Blake Lynn, Blake Linder. I don't know, probably some other guys. I don't really know, but I'm gonna try to talk to a couple of them. I'm gonna talk to a couple of them about maybe doing a video or something soon because I don't live that far away from Los Angeles and Vegas, and most of them are either in Los Angeles or Vegas, so I'm gonna to talk to a couple of them about to possibly maybe doing a collaboration or doing it, because I wanna start a new, like a thing, kind of like what Nice Kicks used to do with their sneak peeks. I wanna start that with my channel. I don't know, have a name for it yet. I've been thinking of names, calling like the, I don't know, I'm, I don't really know about the name yet. I haven't settled on any name yet, but then doing that and being able to go to other shoe tubers, hopefully it'll get to like athletes and stuff like that, and just like friends of mine, just like Instagram people who have really cool collections, really good collections and like going to their house and doing like a sneak, like a sneak peek at, at their house. So, you know, hopefully they'll give me a chance to do that. That'd be really, really good. I'd be really appreciated for that. But, uh, so this vlog was, uh, was gonna be up tomorrow. When you guys are watching this, it'll be Friday, Saturday. So that means, and then Sneaker Hands vlog will be up on Sunday, the day after. I will work really hard. It's gonna be a really long day. I'm gonna work really hard Saturday night to get the video up for you guys Sunday. My brother's coming to town Saturday, so I'll be seeing them too, though you guys get seen the vlog, and I have a bunch of videos planned out for them next week. I'm going to a spring training game on Monday for the White Sox. I'm a huge Chicago White Sox fan from Chicago. So we'll be going to that, and I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to bring my camera in, just not my tripod, so that, I'll have a vlog of that, so I'm excited for that. Just a bunch of really cool stuff coming up these next, this next week. And like I said, hopefully um, some of the different YouTubers will, will be willing to give me a chance and we can do that collection video for my channel. And so that'll hopefully, so that'll be hopefully in the next couple weeks, next couple of months. And then I know after SneakerCon Phoenix, it's SneakerCon, 
the Bay Area and sneaking on London, I was gonna try, I'm definitely not going to London. I was gonna try to go to sneaking on San Francisco until I saw that sneaking on Chicago is I think June 3rd and 4th, but it, it's a two day event and I'm from Chicago and I always go to Chicago in the summer. So I think I'm not gonna go, I don't think I'm gonna go to sneaking on San Francisco, but I think I'm gonna really try hard to go to sneaking on Chicago for the two day event. So hopefully that works out. I'll be really excited for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. And if any of you guys do see this before sneaking on in Phoenix, and you guys are going to see me on Phoenix, make sure if you see me, just say what's up. Try to find me, say what's up. It'd be really dope get you guys in the vlog. It'd be really sick. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe. Peace.